So about two years ago, I joined Microsoft Rewards. Now, the idea behind Microsoft Rewards is really simple. You do searches in the Bing search engine, and for each search, you get a small amount of points. And these points, of course, rack up over time. And with those points, you can exchange them for money. It takes about 25,000 points, I think, to get 25 pounds. So it's, it's really a slow process. You have to kind of work at it. But I thought, you know what? I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to put in a little bit of time every day and, you know, I'll make a little bit of money off of it to spend on whatever I want in the Microsoft Store. But after a while, I realized it got really repetitive. I signed into my Bing account every day, and this is all I did. I just searched rubbish every day, and um, it's just really boring and repetitive. And as you may already know if you watch this channel, my brain immediately went to can you automate this using Python? So I put in a little bit of work and I automated it. I made it so it automatically gets me points every single day. And I just kind of wanted to showcase that in a video. So I'm not gonna be doing any of the coding. It's all a working version of the program. I'll make sure to show you the code and walk you through it. But it's just gonna be a little bit of a showcase of how I automated Microsoft Rewards. So this is the program. This was made back in the days when I still used to write this shebang line at the start of every program, which really isn't necessary, but you know, it was kind of cool to do it like that. You were considered a proper programmer, so I did it anyway. So first you've got your imports. We've got the Pyoto GUI, time, a little bit of random in there as well, and um, a hash library that will become important later. This here is a search function all that does is it searches for a random query. Um, obviously that's used when all the searches are happening. This is an image find function. All that does is it waits for an image to appear on screen. And then this bit here, I made it so it asks for a password. I have to enter the password to activate the program. This is just kind of to make the program versatile in a sense, because my computer is a private computer only I use it, so there's really no need to have a password, but what the program does is it actually logs me in to my Microsoft account. So theoretically, if this was used by another person and I didn't have this password in here, they could gain access to my account. So I just kind of put it in there just because. What the program goes on to do then is uses Windows and D, which is a shortcut to move everything to the background. It finds Microsoft Edge on my home screen, maximizes the window and searches for Bing. Then it clicks the sign in button, enters my email, enters my password. And here I've got a list, well, it's a string, which is just a list of characters. So I've got this list of characters, which is all the possible characters that it could enter in. So. Originally, I thought I'd just kind of have it search QWERTY UAOP, but that's boring. So what it'll do is it will construct a random search query each time it gets longer. So I've made it do 38 search queries. I think 30 is required to get the maximum number of points. So I did 38 just because when it's searching, sometimes the program starts doing the next search before the first one is completed. So that one doesn't count. 38 is a good number to kind of make sure you get the max number of points every day. And then it just searches through 38 times. Then what it'll do is it will wait and click on the rewards button. And here is the time when there's human interaction that will become relevant later. And then it locks me out and closes down Microsoft Edge window. So here's all the code on the screen. If you wanna take a look at it, feel free to pause the video now. But without further ado, let's see a demo. So let me run the program. Of course, the Python box pops up first. And here is the standard tkinter password box. Don't look. So then it finds Microsoft Azure home screen, opens up a new tab, full screens it, 
that might not have been clear because it was already nearly full screen and searches for Bing then it goes to sign me in blur effect yes and here we are with the rewards dashboard as you can see here, I have 8167 points like I say it's like 5000 for five pounds is the conversion rate ish don't quote me on that and here you can see the random search occurring and my points are going up pretty slowly it is a bit laggy but that's not what matters what matters is that the search term is going through and I am getting the points for it it's kind of satisfying just watching this build up it's probably more efficient way to do this I probably didn't need to make the search terms this long but um I don't know this is the way I made it. Oh, and it's done. And now I have 8,266 points. As you can see, I clicked on that little icon. And here I have these bits for like extra points. Now, I usually just do these by hand. And of course, the question is, why did you not automate this? Well, it just wasn't worth my time. Because there's lots of different things here. Every day, there's a different daily set. This one is quiz time. And this one, these first two are just ones that you have to click on and they just give you te 10 points. There's some quizzes which you actually have to answer. And this daily poll, you have to click on it and then you have to choose one. Doesn't matter what you choose, you get the points anyway. 50-50 split, Paris, Rome. Actually, I think I prefer Rome. But I usually just pick a random one because it's not worth my time deciding. And once you're done with the daily set, you get like bonuses based on how many days you've done it in a row more activities, and there's more ones that you just click on. And I kind of, you got to make an evaluation. It's just not worth making the program that complicated to automatically do everything. Because be impossible, really, because it's hard to tell, based off those icons that you saw, what actually needs to be done, whether it's just one you need to click on, whether it's one you need to interact with, the quizzes down they pop up at the bottom and there's different types of quizzes. So I just kind of made a quick one that just does the searches. And as you can see, it's successful. Look, 90 out of 90 points on the computer. And you get a small bonus for using Microsoft Edge because I could have done this on Chrome. And once all that's done with, I click on my profile and it signs me out. Fantastic. So that's a showcase of the program I made to automatically search for terms on Microsoft Rewards and get free points essentially. That's what this is doing. I mean, of course the points are free, all you need to do is search, but this is a much faster, much more efficient way to do it. And also the searching is really boring and mundane and repetitive and anything that's repetitive can be automated really. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe really does help me out if you want to support my channel, and hopefully I'll be seeing you in the next video. Oh, well, actually, hopefully you'll be seeing me in the next video. There's someone else in the next video. I'd be really worried, you know. <laughs>